Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 5, Episode 21 Thoughts. This episode is called The Force of Gravity. Spoilers for everything MCU leading up to and including this episode. I'm not sure in the Heaven MCU that came after this episode first premiered. Another episode I love. The episode is rated TV-14. Let's dive right in. Holy crap, this was an amazing episode. I can hardly wait. I'm glad I only have to wait until tomorrow to watch the actual finale because, yeah, um, holy crap. So... Yeah, uh, some really great stuff with Daisy talking to, to what was it, Ta Ter Terrian, the the elder Cassius, and this thing of like he's he's kind of. It's not that he's being like respectful, but he's it's it's kind of like he he found, you know, it's it's like if you found a a really rare dinosaur or something. It's like, wow, look, you know, it's not quite like. You are my equal. It's more like this is amazing. You know, just love how they how they played that. And let's see. Yeah, I like Quo Quoas and May and Colson talking. And you know, Colson's like, "You're just another villain of the month, dude. Just can you just can we get to the part where you're not slightly inconveniencing us anymore?" And, you know, May is like, I don't need a gun to stop you. And, you know, by the end of the episode, I told you I didn't need a gun. You know, he was all about, you know, ah, we're tougher because we don't need guns. Meanwhile, he's using missiles. She turns those missiles on him. You know, if if he hadn't been using missiles, it would have taken her slightly more effort to stop him. You know, he made it nice and easy because she just had to turn the missiles back on him. And yeah, I, re I really, I'm, I'm loving these discussions between Fitzsimmons about, you know, how to save the future and this thing of, you know, we've, if we failed because we tried to save Coulson, but does that mean that if we succeeded, that that would be, you know, I mean, yeah, that is, that is one way to, to look at that. So yeah, and see. yeah, you know. This might be the time for audacity. Not the, the terrible, you know, anti-choice movie audacity. The, it's never a time for that. And, yeah, I love that, you know, Talbot enters and it's like a horror movie, you know. Something pulls one of the, uh, it's, was it Agent Kim, I think they, they referred to him. You know, he he disappears. We hear these horrible sounds of of violence, and then Talbot comes out. You know, yeah, he may see himself as the hero, but to everybody else, he is the villain. And let's see. Yeah, um, appreciate the conversation between May and Coulson about Talbot you know, going over the, the experiences and why he's making the choices he is. And yeah, I like Daisy saying that's not chilling. He has zero chill. That is true. And and yeah, then we learn, you know, Daisy is like she's basically being kept in a in a sort of coma until he feels he's broken her spirit. And legitimately like when he says, you know, if you're thirsty and you can't drink, if you're tired, you can't sleep, eventually you're going to break, you know, just, yeah. See, this is the kind of thing that I had hoped for more of in the Nightmare on Elm Street reboot, which sort of brings up that idea and then doesn't really do anything with it. That It was super cool here. It was much more tense than it was in that movie. And... Yeah, and I like her asking, does everyone in your family have a god complex? And, yeah, uh, great scene between Mac and Fitzsimmons and this thing, you know, very tense between Mac and, and Leopold right now. But they are ultimately on the same side. They're going to try to find a way. And I like, yeah, so Coulson is like, okay, I have a plan, you know, and, and he's explaining the plan. It's like, oh, it could, could work. And then the door opens and it's Deke and it's just, you know, and he's like, did you ever realize how much it takes to kick these guys' ass? Which is why it's t it's taking him so long, you know. The, the um, 
you don't need Armin Scheimerman on a on a loop in the corner yelling that. You could just yeah, that's that's the explanation. And uh, let's see. Because you know, obviously he did start to work on freeing them immediately, as you know, from the from near the start of the episode. And uh, yeah, um, the the when when Talbot goes to to Creel, that was legitimately like you know for a little bit there you actually felt like you know oh like I I did I did not think he was going to absorb him, I thought that they were he was gonna try to get him to work together or something but just yeah let's see. And, you know, yeah, it sounds like a good deal for Creel. Did not mean for that to rhyme, but I did this time. But, unfortunately, tonight is the night when two become one. And he, you know, he, yeah, really, really horrifying as he absorbs Creel. And, yeah, love when Daisy, she has so much determination that she actually manages to will herself, will her body into waking up. Which reminds me of a thing, but I can't say it because I locked myself into not talking about anything MC that came out after this episode first premiered. But if you've watched it, I can imagine you, you know where I'm going with that. Let's see... I, I can count to five, so you know five numbers. No, I also know zero, so six numbers, you know. It's, yeah, I, you know, the there's a lot of slavers who don't teach their slaves, for example, how to read. You know, I, I talked some about that in an earlier episode on this, I, yeah, I believe this very season since it came up for other, you know, other slaves of the Creepers, so... Yeah, very, and and understandably, May is frustrated because it does make him less efficient as a team member. And I like, you know, at the end he's like, "I know zero," you know, because <laughs> yeah, you know, if if yeah, to return, if if you're telling something to move a certain distance, zero means it doesn't go anywhere, and. You know, that is somewhat the equivalent of, uh, you know, that is the same result, at the very least. And then we have the... Um, uh, let's yeah, yeah, the... Um, Mac and Elena, you know, trying to figure out about Talbot and, you know, yeah. Mac really does have quite the capacity for forgiveness, which I will acknowledge there are a number of Christians who do truly believe in that. I wish more of those were Americans and you know, American conservatives. And the yeah, this thing of you know he wants to he wants to fix it. He wants to be a good father, you know, I just it legitimately is like he shows up and and from right away it's very tense when he's dealing with his his family again and yeah and he's talking about you know I'm a, I'm a hero now just like the avengers you know so the you know um there's a lot of desperation you know he so badly wants to make it up to to George because the last time they saw each other he yelled at him for about the the you know that's not a what was it that's not a cat it's a tiger you know he he scared him and he's he's felt terrible about that for months now and and yeah this is him trying to to make it up for him and and then you know he gets really abusive with Carla even even saying look what you made me do which you know by the time this first let's see this yeah this episode's from 2018 it was fairly well known. Uh, that's a, you know, even if we weren't already 100% convinced that he was being abusive, yeah, that's that's something abusers say. You know, they don't take ownership of doing things wrong. 
it. Let's see. Then, yeah. Um, Coulson kisses May, which I'm sure there's a significant chunk of the fandom who shipped them from from very early on, probably. I kind of wish that there had been just slightly bit more of like clear informed consent, but. I mean, certainly May would not hesitate to hit him if he tried to, to kiss her, and she would. And she really didn't want him to, so I'm, I guess, you know, but, yeah, and, you know, he holds up the shield, it stops the the bullets. I love Daisy's rags, just like, whoa, what is that, you know, like, <laughs> just, if, if Lincoln had materialized out of thin air, her reaction would not have been more extreme. And let's see, yeah, and and the yeah, Mac, Elena, and some others show up at the, the house. I like that. You know, welcome to the neighborhood. You sir are no Mister Rogers. And the yeah, they you know they fire their guns, and he and I love that. You know, he barely he barely even like makes any effort. He's just standing there posing. I, I know I haven't mentioned before, but I love the, the facial hair they've given him. Just fantastic. And, and yeah, you know, he, he makes the bullets float. And after a while, they stop firing, and then he fires back. You know, very, very the mask. The Jim Carrey one, not the... What was that other one? Was Cher in it or something? I, I'm not sure there's any, you know, bullets being fired back in, in that one. And the, uh, let's see, yeah, very cool when May and, and Deke fight some of the marauders. And it was very clever because, yeah, you know, Deke, you, you know, he, he's good at getting you to lower your guard. He doesn't look like a fighter, possibly a lover. And the, you know, but yeah, the moment that May enters, we know it's going to be. So, yeah, they, they use the element of surprise. To get into a better, yeah, better place for them to fight, and I appreciate you know. So yeah, Deke is is struggling with you know if if we're talking like muscle and moves and sharp object and such. So he uses his belt to like you know yeah strangle one of the the marauders. It's not pretty, but he's used to fighting dirty, and these are. You know, the situation calls for fighting dirty. And let's see. Yeah, and the thing of, you know, we're not going to stop the missiles. Now, what are we even doing here? That was pretty funny. We're going to give them a new target. And, you know, and it's one of those things like, of, of course she's going to, you know, they're going to have the big thing where she says, we're giving these missiles a new target. They didn't have to have Deke be like, you know, what if, if we're not going to, you know, just like really over the top performance. They didn't have to have that, but I'm glad they did. It was very fun. And let's see, then we have the, yeah, very, very cool when May fights Quora's and, and yeah, it's it, Quovas, sorry, not Quora. That's for the core raiders to do, but the yeah, you know she's she's just buying time uh, so D can can you know change the the settings and you know he's having to like dodge under and and jump around to to get to the yeah and. I like Daisy calling Colson hot lips after and you know. Agent Johnson, we will not discuss this. That's an order. You know, suddenly she's Agent Johnson again. She's not, you know, temporarily in command or anything. And, yeah, them talking, Daisy and, and Colson talking about me. And this thing of, you know, do you think she's okay? She's having the time of her life. And, yeah, very, very cool manages to, to blow up the the place and and the the ship and teleport it back down into the lighthouse and Coulson you know he he, he 
he was bleeding before, and he's like, ah, it's nothing. And, you know, he took a band, he, he bandaged it, and now, like, the blood is seeping through, and he's like, I don't understand. And he collapses, and blood is coming out of his mouth. Just, yeah, holy crap. The, yeah, I have no idea if he is going to, because they, they have the idea, you know, they talked about, they have the, they have the centipede, they, the serum, they, they have, the the DNA from Jaying, you know, maybe it could work. It worked for, you know, John Garrett also needed bringing back, and and he survived an awful lot. So, yeah, it's it's. I really appreciate the the. I I legitimately have no clue if they're if they're gonna manage to bring him back, or or not. In yeah, and we end on. Talbot having taken the Hintons hostage and, you know, Robin drew him, what was it, blowing up, yes, let's see, uh, making a hole in the earth and pulling something out, tell me where, you know, so, yeah, really, really tense. Uh, yeah, so, I'm to be triggered for this episode, oh, <laughs> the original title F equals G parenthesis M one X M two parenthesis ends slash D two was the formula for Isaac Newton's equation for gravity before the air date. The title wasn't renamed the force of gravity. Yeah, that might be a little bit too <laughs> esoteric. And see. oh, phew. Deke mentions being the same age as his grandparents, Fitz and Simmons. Jeff Ward is actually a year minus a day older than Ian DeCastecker and nine months older than Elizabeth Henstridge. <laughs> when Talbot explains his new powers to his son, he says, I can even fly. And yeah, um, his hero's character, Nathan Petrelli, also had the ability to fly. So yeah, nicely done with that. And, yeah, uh, on the goof section, somebody pointed out, Jai Ying's body would not only be a skeleton in just three years. Let's see. E yeah, it says, even assuming she wasn't embalmed, a, a corpse interred in a coffin would take a decade or longer for the soft tissue to decompose. So, yeah. Right, I, I really, like, when, when Daisy was like, they're here... And, and yeah, the damage left after the battle between the children of Thanos and Iron Man Doctor Strange is mentioned and seen on WHIH news broadcasts in this episode. And let's see. The, yeah. Closing out the season tomorrow. And until then, let's see. See. Right, it was also very clever, let's see, it was at the start of the episode, where Quova says, I have several ionizer missiles aimed at your lighthouse right now. And, and yeah, you know, that is legitimately, that gives them the, the coordinates, and also gives them a weapon against the ship. Again, you know, otherwise they'd have to figure out a self-destruct sequence or something, but, yeah. And... Right, I do appreciate that there was this brief bit where Talbot was able to, to, you know, like his son's eyes light up at, you know, can fly and, and this stuff. And let's see. I think that is what I... Right, right, I like the, yeah... Go home. What about Agent May and Deke? They're taking the express train. And yeah, and the, yeah, they talk about you know we either save Coulson or we save the world. Where does the cheerleader enter in all of this? What does saving her do? And let's see. yeah, I like when May says, "I'm amazed you were able to survive." <laughs> to Deke. Let's see, and 
Right, and I like, yeah, you know, so May said, I love you. Yeah, thought that might shut you up. And then here, Coulson kisses her, and he says, thought that might show you up. That's a great callback. And... Let's see. I already know what your future holds. Hmm, funny. I see the future too, and you have two despicable sons who wear even dumber makeup than you, and they die like cowards stabbed in the back. When I get out of this, I'm stronger than you know. Everyone thinks that. Hmm. But in my case, it's true. I'm the destroyer of worlds.